So you've gotten to the stage where you want to build your own PCB. This is a two-part video taking a look at one online manufacturer who seems to be making things easy for you. There's really a lot of online PCB manufacturing companies. Huge amounts and many of them come and go. To be able to get one of these companies to manufacture your board, you need to send them a set of files that are usually created from PCBCAD software. Software like Eagle, Orcad, Allegro, Altium don't come cheap. And we all know about the Eagle subscription debacle. There are free alternatives like KiCad, but this is nowhere near as advanced as some of the paid software. Also, if you've ever used something like Eagle, then you know about the world of pain you enter learning how to use it. However, the trend these days is to offer online PCB design services. One of these companies is called EasyEDA. Now before I go further, yes they have offered me 10 free sample PCBs for a review, but if you saw my Pine64 review, I certainly don't pull punches. So EasyEDA offers you several things. One of the most important is that it's easy to use. Sure, there are some issues with the interface every so often, but they are constantly fixing these and letting you know of new features. If you're a newcomer to PCB design, there's a lot of factors you have to get right for it to work. Things like package dimensions are a killer. Choose the wrong package and sometimes you just have to throw the board away. Routing track widths, separation, and that's just the beginning. You also have to create your design schematic and the devil is in the details. Get something wrong and the problem can amplify. So Easy EDA gives you both schematic and PCB layout editor. They also give you a whole lot of predefined components where most of them are provided as stock when you order your boards. There's also a large community supplied component database which has a lot of the odd components that you might not find elsewhere. You can also share your PCB designs with the community which is a nice feature if you want to see just how someone else designs the same circuit or you can pull it into your own design. You can also export your schematic and PCB design to PDF or SVG and I noticed that since I used it last they have added in an export to Altium option which is nice to see. You also have copper fill areas, differing track widths, auto routing cutouts, odd shaped boards, design rule checks and it can handle up to six layer boards. You can generate a bomb report, pick and place file and they even have scripting capabilities. If you want to try your hand at SMD soldering, they can also create stencils. So I tried out Easy EDA for a week designing a simple power board for a Raspberry Pi. Everything was fairly intuitive. Schematic entry wasn't an issue, and when it came to routing, the inbuilt auto router seemed to do a fairly decent job of it. But real men don't use an auto router. So I also tried routing by hand, which works like any other CAD software. Comparing Eagle to Easy EDA, they function in a fairly similar manner, except a little more intuitive. For example, moving a block of components, you click with the right mouse button and select an area of components to move. Whereas within Eagle, you have to select the move tool, then select the group tool, select the components, then click right mouse button, and then select move group in the menu. It's a minor thing, but when you use it all day, Eagle can be annoying. In terms of limitations, I'm struggling to find any for the casual maker. One thing you have to remember is that you solely rely on their offering once you create your design. What happens if the company goes bust? They mention that they will open source their platform and make available all designs for a limited time. That seems pretty good, but it may be an issue for some still. You also have to consider whether the board you are designing is commercially sensitive. Customers may not be wanting to see the design being created on a website for IP reasons. So what about converting over to Easy EDA from something like Eagle? I knocked up another board in Eagle, which is something I'll be making available on Tindy soon. Then try to import this into Easy EDA. The schematic capture worked okay, no glaring issues there, except that I'll have to manually select components to complete the bomb. The PCB side had a bit of an issue. I had several keep out areas under the MCU, which I normally do to ensure there's no under package short circuits. On Easy EDA, these didn't translate well as there's no concept of a keep out area. You can see this in several other places. There's supposed to be a keep out area under the Wi-Fi module and also under the USB connector to ensure there's no interference from the ground plane. Also under Eagle, the copper fill pushed out into areas more. 
whereas under Easy EDA they came up blank, leaving components stranded where they were connected to ground properly under Eagle. This is all to be expected from any importing software. I've never seen anything import 100% every time, but these are some of the things to be mindful of with Easy EDA. Note you can also just import the Gerbers into Easy EDA and still have them manufacture a board for you. You don't actually need to use the CAD side. So what do I think of Easy EDA? There are a few features still missing in the current version and importing schematic and PCB designs will require a number of fix-ups. However, overall I think it's still a pretty good product. Combined with the ability to order your components through LCSC much cheaply than elsewhere, they are providing a full end-to-end -end package for PCB manufacture for the maker. Anyway, I'll go ahead and order my boards now and when they arrive I'll follow up with a second video. Oh, by the way, Easy EDA have a deal on at the moment with free shipping on your first order up to $25 in value. So go and check that out on the link below. Thanks for watching and see you next week.